Hello everyone, so today I'm doing a vinyl collection video. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I wanted to accumulate enough albums to show you, and I feel like I have a decent amount now, so yeah, that's why I'm making this video. So I'm just going to go through all of them and tell you where and why, and just some background information on why I like them. I have Polk speakers. They're kind of cheap. I don't know. They sound fine to me. I got them at Best Buy. And then I also got this receiver from Best Buy. It can also hook up to Bluetooth, which is nice. But Aux One is how I hook up my Audio Technica to it. And my Audio Technica is awesome. I got it for Christmas from my mom. So thank you, mom. Love you. And it's so much better than the Crosley that I used to have. My Crosley used to scratch up all my vinyls. And if you're trying to have a collection of vinyls, just get a good one because you don't want to spend all that money and then scratch them up. So yeah, let's just get started. This first album I have, I don't really know that much about it. I just found it at a Goodwill. It's really relaxing. It's kind of French noir sounding. So yeah, when I'm in that wine glass mood, I just put this on. This next album, I also don't really know that much about. I think it was my dad's or my mom's or something. It's called John Denver's Greatest Hits. And I don't know, it's just like relaxing and folky, so yeah. This next one is a symphony album, and I don't know how to pronounce his name at all, so I'm not even going to try, but this is just really cool. I love scores, so whenever I'm studying or something, this is really nice to listen to. This album is an instrumental Nat King Cole, and I thought it was a normal one when I got it at Goodwill, but it ended up not being one, but I still love it. I love his music, so yeah. This album is one of my favorite albums of all time. I put this on probably once a week and just listen to the whole thing because I love it. Um, this is a Bonnie Iver album and it's self-titled. It's just called Bonnie Iver. And the cover is super pretty. I love it. It's just so serene and beautiful. And Bonnie Iver is probably one of my top artists. So I'm so glad that I got this. My friend Allison got it for me for my 17th birthday. <laughs> This is my Lana Del Rey Paradise album. I'm obsessed with Lana Del Rey. I saw her at Lala last year and it was so awesome. I had to leave early though because I was so tired. But I made it through my favorite songs, which is a good thing. My favorite is probably Ride on this album and the cover is beautiful as always. And my friend Sienna got this for me for my 17th or my 18th birthday. And so yeah, thank you girl. Depression Cherry by Beach House is probably another album like Bonnie Vare's that I can just put on and always listen to all the way through. My favorite is probably 1037 or Sparks and the cover is so awesome. I honestly got it for the cover. I didn't really know most of the songs when I got it and then I ended up loving it. It's velvet and it just feels so awesome. I'm obsessed with velvet and red. So this is my M83 album and it's called Junk. This is another one that I bought without knowing any of the songs on it except for one, which was like their hit song. And I kind of like doing this because you have to listen to the whole album usually when you're listening to a vinyl because it's annoying to switch through the songs. So this is how I kind of find music and it's kind of fun just buying music that you don't really know. This is probably the best Goodwill find I've ever had. It's a Beach Boys collection and I'm pretty sure it's more than one album and I don't know, it has so many songs on it. I also got a poster from it and it was a dollar. So I'm really proud of myself for this one. I never really listened to the Beach Boys until I got this and now I love them. They are probably one of my favorite oldies bands and they're also my parents' favorites. So I don't know pretty nostalgic even though I didn't really grow up in that time but I love music that makes me feel like that
this is an album that my dad gave me. Me and my dad always watch SNL, and I love SNL. No matter what people say, I think it's funny. So, um, he had a Lonely Island <laughs> vinyl, and I don't know why he's just a character, but he gave it to me because he doesn't have a vinyl player anymore. So I'm honestly really glad, and I love Andy Samberg. I have the biggest crush on him. So, um, hey. <laughs> um, it has one of my favorite songs on it. Um, I threw it on the ground. That's a classic, and I I love it. This is Adele's 25 album. I got this along with my Audio Technica for Christmas when my mom got it for me. So I didn't really pick this one out, but I'm really glad that I have it because Adele's classic. I love her voice, and she's always easy to listen to. I've never not liked her songs. This next album is Parachutes by Coldplay, and I love Coldplay. Everyone roasts me for liking them, but I am a true fan, so whatever. I saw them in concert last summer, and it was amazing. I love Coldplay. This is probably one of my favorite Coldplay albums. No one really listens to it, though, because it was their first, but I highly recommend listening to it. This is a Tan Lines album. It's called Highlights, and this is their second album. I only really knew their first album, and I listened to it a lot in high school, and so this kind of brings me back to, like, junior year and stuff, which is a weird feeling. I don't know if I like it or not, but I got this one not really knowing any of the songs either, but I love them, so I knew I would like it anyway, and it was $10 on sale at Urban Outfitters, so I was like, why not get it? So this album I bought off of UrbanOutfitters.com, and this was my second album that I bought, and I think I got it with the Coldplay Parachutes one, but this is probably the weirdest album that I own, but I love it. It's electronic, which is kind of a weird choice for vinyl, but I like electronic on vinyl. I think it sounds really cool, and the cover is really pretty, and honestly, I only knew the song Meme Generator, but I really liked it, so I felt like I would like the rest of it. So if you know me at all, you know that Marina and the Diamonds is my idol and I love her. And um, so I'm going to try and collect all of her albums. I have this one and also Fruit and I will get to that. But this album is such a classic. My favorite is probably Mowgli's Road and I just love Marina and the Diamonds. I will never stop loving her. And this album just really hits me every time. <laughs> So I saved the best for last. Fruit is probably one of my top five favorite albums of all time. And I know that's crazy to say, but I really feel like that. Every song I love, every song has an awesome message. And if you have not given it a listen, I really highly recommend it. The whole graphic design of it too is just so brilliant. She does everything herself and she's just such a creative person and I really look up to her. So that's why I love her music and I just highly recommend listening to her. Please do it, it would make me so happy. So that concludes my vinyl collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want more videos like this, let me know and tell me also if you have any of these albums or if you have albums that you think I would like, I would really like to hear it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching.